evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Psychic Perspectives. I am, of course, your host, Leo Brown. I thank you guys so much for liking, for commenting, and for most of all, subscribing to the channel and uh, enjoying the videos. I hope you all have enjoyed them so far. So we are now concluding our Radio Week uh, edition of Psychic Perspectives with uh, DJ Envy. Um, DJ Envy. So I know all of you know who DJ Envy is, but for those of you who don't, DJ Envy is a radio personality and, of course, DJ, uh, known for his stint on Power 105.1 based in New York City. And he's been there for a number of years. And I've always found him intriguing. I've always thought that he was interesting. So I will be referring to him as Rashawn throughout this reading. Uh, I will not be calling him DJ Envy because DJ Envy is not his name. So his actual name is Rashawn Casey. And he actually had a birthday. Uh, let's see, we're in January now. Uh, uh, oh, let's see. December. Oh, about four months ago. So he just, he's now 44 years of age. So I wanted to give him a happy belated birthday uh, if he sees this. And I hope that, you know, Mr. Casey, you enjoyed this reading. I hope that those of you who are watching enjoy it. And uh, if you feel so inclined, let me know. Even if you don't like it, let me know. I, I appreciate all comments. It means a lot. So I wanted to conclude our uh, Radio Week with Mr. Rashawn Casey, aka DJ MD. All right, so let's see what the spirits have to say for you, Mr. Rashawn. Okay. Okay, so it's telling me to stop. Okay. So I'm going to pull the cards and see what they have to say. Hmm. Well, Mr. Rashawn, so first of all, it's a, it's a pleasure to meet you, to make your acquaintance. I hope that life is treating you well and kind, despite these trying times, and I hope that this reading makes sense for you. So, you know, I'm just going to say what I pick up immediately. I feel like you're going to end up leaving radio. I really do. Eventually, you're going to end up leaving uh, probably not for another like four years or so. I get the number four around you, either within a year or like the next 40 years. I feel like you're going to end up eventually retiring and leaving radio because I'm picking up something to do with your workplace. And it feels like to me, don't get me wrong, you love what you do. But what I'm also getting for some odd reason is I get a sense of you feeling tired. I get a sense of you feeling burnt out. I get a sense that you want to be able to spend more time at home, um, more time traveling, because I'm seeing something with you and getting on a plane. And I also feel like there are things that you want to say that on radio you really can't say. Uh, and you kind of want your own, well, not kind of, you do. You want your own spotlight. And, what, and I pick up uh, podcasting. I feel like you are going to end up doing something to do with a podcast or something of your own um, where you have full and complete control. You have the reins. Um, let's see. And that's evidenced by this card, the Nine of Pentacles. So that's why I'm saying it. I feel like there's some issues going on with, and, and what I also pick up around this is contract negotiations. So there's some things brewing in there at the workplace. Um, right now with where you are, Rashawn, I feel like you're in a good space, Page of Pentacles. So you're in a good space here. You're in a really good space with yourself. But I feel like your main thing right now is 
not just working on yourself because I'm seeing you, I'm actually seeing you losing weight. Um, or if not losing weight, like tightening up, getting your body right. Like I, I see you getting muscles and stuff. But I also feel like there's a lot to do with you and your marriage. I feel like you're working on that. And if you ain't working on it, there's a, I'm just going to say it. I feel like there's an arrangement here within the relationship. I feel like, I'm just going to say, I feel like you're, okay. I feel like within your relationship, I feel like your wife trusts you and she does love you. But at the same time, it's almost like there's a lot of, or maybe there used to be a lot of turning of the blind eye, like for certain things within the marriage. And I'm not just talking about cheating, I'm talking about things you wouldn't tell her, um, money that you would spend, that you would, you know what I mean? Like just, just decisions that you would make that she didn't know about, things like that. And I feel like there's still an unspoken rule there. I don't know why that's like, because I keep hearing the word arrangement. Excuse me. Um, and let's see, what I'm also getting is, yeah, and I do see you losing weight. I do see you losing weight and bulking up, like getting bigger and getting your muscles and things. Because I keep seeing you do this. I'm seeing you do this pose. So I feel like you're going to start getting yourself together physically a lot. Um, and let's see. Okay. And then... This card stands out to me because this is the first card I pulled. I pulled the sun card. And the sun card usually denotes confidence. It usually denotes masculinity, the male energy. Um, uh, it denotes love. It denotes just being happy. So what this is telling me is that in the past, because this has to do with the past, you're, you were very content with your position at Power 105. You're very content within your marriage. Like, like life, life was and is good. But I also pick up that there's going to be some shakeups coming probably in the next two months. I get the number two. So either within the next two years or two months for you, there's going to be some shakeups. And they're not all, they're not bad. They're just unexpected. And I feel like this tells me that you in the past have been very content. Like, you know how sometimes we often are afraid of rocking the boat so we don't do anything. And I feel like now that's what's going on. Like that's been your thing. But but as of late, you're realizing like, no, I there's some things I want to do. There's some things I want to say. There's, I want to leave a mark. I don't want to just be a sidekick. Um, and I feel like eventually you're going to end up, you know, like I said in the beginning, I feel like you're going to end up walking away. And I get with this card, the third card here, which represents the help, you know, or the thing that you may that may uh, that you may need to do. I feel like what's going on because it's a night of wands. So what this is telling me is that despite your fears or your hesitation to walk away from what's familiar, you need to take a risk. You need to take a chance. And yes, I know you might be afraid. Yes, I know you might be scared. Yes, you may ruffle a few feathers, but in the end, it would be a good thing for you to do because and, and, and is needed. And it's not just within your career, it's within, within everything. Because I even feel like even within your relationship, there's going to be some revelations that you never really shared with your wife before or with your, I feel like your wife and kids. Because um, I get something to do with a little girl or like, I shouldn't say a little girl, but like, a, um, like somebody who's in their tweens and you just being very blunt and being very honest with them. And I get, I don't know why, but I, I keep seeing you traveling to um, either, I don't know if this is, and I'm just, and I don't, I'm not trying to be messy, I'm really not, but I feel like, I don't know if this is a woman that you were involved with or something like that, but I feel like there's somebody else aside from your wife that I see like, like you traveling to and saying, listen, this is the way that this can't, like, we can't, like, here are the rules, and you either play by them or you get lost, like, I get that kind of thing, um, and in the end, what I'm picking up around you is that the things that you want to do, they are going to happen, the wishes that you have, the dreams you have, they are going to come true, I see you, I definitely pick up you doing a podcast, I pick up you, 
maybe not writing a book, but I feel like there's something that you're going to do where you're speaking to people and you're telling your story and you're telling folks like, this is what you shouldn't do. Or here's how you can get to where I want to, you know, to where I am now. Like I see something to do with you in mentorship, like you helping other people, you giving back to the community. So I feel like you've got some big things, but I also feel like in order for those big things to happen, you got to shake up the status quo a little bit. And I feel like that's, yeah, that's very important. Um, let's see. And just do it. You know, don't be afraid. Just go for it. So that's what I pick up for you, Mr. Rashawn. I hope that made sense. I hope that um, it resonates. And if it doesn't, please let me know. If it does, let me know. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed Radio Week thus far. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for this upcoming week, but we'll think of something. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for liking, for commenting, for subscribing. Um, and wait a minute before I go, I want to say one more thing to you, Rashawn. I also feel like your faith is, is, is going to become a big part of this too. Because I see your hands in prayer. So normally what that's telling me is that you're going to really get, go on a um, kind of a, a, a internal journey within yourself regarding your faith and regarding um, maybe not your religion, but just your faith. Faith in yourself, faith in something higher than yourself. Um, I, I really do pick that up around you. And I just, and I feel like your wife is involved in this. Like, I don't want to say she's pulling the strings, but it's like, this transformation I see you going on, on, she would definitely be an instrumental part in it. I definitely pick that up. Yeah. So I just had to get it out before I ended the video. But I hope you guys have enjoyed my perspectives thus far. Let me know who you like uh, for me to do a reading on next. And uh, I thank you guys so much for watching, for commenting, for subscribing. It's been wonderful thus far. I hope you guys are having a great start to the new year. And until next time, it is me, Leo Brown, and I will see you very, very soon. Have a great one. Bye-bye.